Uh, we're gonna jump right into it today. We're gonna go pretty fast. Before we get into Ironton Transparency, where you can go to irontontransparency.com and you're gonna help us solve the riddle, I just wanna say no one on here is accused of crimes. What we're, what we're doing is we're, we're solving the Ironton riddle. And that's what we're doing. And I'm gonna walk you guys through solvingironton.com in about five minutes. So if you wanna to go to solvingironton.com and then if you wanna join the team, you can say, use this link to join our server. And then you can, how you guys doing? How's everybody doing today? How you doing? Cool, cool. A lot, of, a lot of work today, just a million miles an hour. Good to see you, good to see you. Everybody hit your like button if you would, please. Uh, good to see you from Australia. Good to see everybody. So we're gonna jump into a lot of stuff today. There's gonna be a lot of information to cover. But, um, so, you know, solving Ironton is up and you can see right across the top how you can join. It says, use this link to join our server so you can add information privately. I'm gonna show you guys how to use that, but first I wanna go over a few things with the title of the video. Did you guys, you know, I took the time today because I got new registration today. And so I took the time, this is a laminated copy of my driver's license. This is a, a copy, it's a photocopy of my driver's license. I can take this off, you can see the strip, I can take this off, you can see all the stuff. I did this, my driver's license, and my insurance and proof of registration on the back here, so that when I get pulled over by a cop, all I have to do is remove the tape and give this to him, and he has all the information without taking my actual driver's license away from me. And so I want you guys to, to do that, and then when the cop comes up and he starts to talk to me, I'm immediately just going to invoke my Fifth Amendment right. I've given the cop everything that he needs from me in this one little packet. Everything he needs that I legally have to provide, he has for me. There's really no need for you to continue a conversation with him. Now, I've, I've read some things that people have said. You and I are not the same. You have your role in this life and I have my role. Hopefully you have some children and you have begun to populate the earth with your beauty, right? My job, I don't have any kids, I don't have a wife, my job is to change the system. And so you can support me by getting one of these. It's a trifold, they cost $25, or you can get it for free and print it out yourself by going to deletelaws.com and then putting the word free trifold in to the coupon place and getting your trifold for free. Printing it out and then using it. So when the cop pulls you over, now this is not my actual driver's license. My actual driver's license is right here in my pocket. I, I don't... This is a photocopy of my driver's license so that that way I don't have to talk to that cop. That's the back of it. And there's my insurance and my registration. There it is. Now, when the cop comes up, he's going to say, where are you going? Where are you heading? I'm not even going to start that conversation. I'm not even going to begin it. I've given him every piece of information he needs to process this stop. I don't need to say another word. I immediately show the camera that I'm holding in my other hand, show the camera, and then I show it to the officer. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. That's what I do. That's what I do. And this is, this is listen, I give this to you for free. If you want to download it, get free trifold, and you can have it for free. Get the $15 version, put a free trifold. If you want the indestructible one that I send you from California, you have, you have to go to, it's 25 bucks, and I ship it. And this is what I do for a living, and this is why so many people are jealous, because I help people with their traffic stop and they're mad about it. <laughs> okay, now let's get into solving Ironton. Have you guys done this with your license and your registration yet? It, it, takes, it takes a couple hours to get it done right. Okay. Now, here's solving Ironton. What you wanna do, you go to solving Ironton and you'll get this page, it'll come up, you scroll down a little bit and you'll get a bunch of people's pictures. Now, what you do, you go to the picture and you click on it. So Judge Waldo, I click on Judge Waldo and then there's a little dot that pops up right here. Boom, click on that dot and then you can leave your comment of what you know about how Judge Waldo connects to all of these rehabs. And that's what we've done. We've solved the rehab puzzle. The, the researcher, one of the researchers is quoted as saying, where are the feds to arrest these people? That's what he said to me. So we're looking for more information. Now, right here, it says, right here, it says bond company owned by judge. This is an error. 
I don't, we don't know if he owns a bond company or not. We know he's tied up in surety bonds using the land to make money off of the bonds. But we need your help. We need your information. Now, we don't know what, what, Star, what Star Justice Community Center is. Is this an actual rehab? Star East? And what is Hughes? What is Hughes? So we have information that Hughes is owned by Randy Lambert, by Judge McWhorter, and another one named Bowling, B-O-W-L-I-N-G. But we don't know everything. I'm only putting it out there to solve it. There's definitely a conspiracy to make money off of you and to get more money from you. Oh, Julie, let me just, let me just say goodbye to her. God bless you, baby. I wish you the best. You're an angry little troll. <laughs> so, because we're gonna solve this puzzle. I guarantee you, Julie, who we just kicked out of the room, she's gonna connect here. So if you wanna, if you wanna join the team, use this link right here and you join our server and you're talking to the, to the actual investigators. Now, and that's perfectly fine. Just go ahead because the investigator is me sending the information to those folks who are crunching the data to create this graphic so you can see how everybody, everybody uh, connects. So, so now right here, if you know about Hughes, see Hughes right here? You just go over and you click on it with your mouse, click on it, and then see that white dot? I click on the white dot, and then that box over there opens and it says, what do you know about Hughes? You see? What do you know about Hughes? What do you know about Randy Lambert's connection to all of these rehab centers? Is he the owner of, of this is the question that we're asking here. Who owns Star East and who owns, uh, how many people have been to Star Justice Community Center? How many people have been locked up or, or sent to this rehab? Because is this an actual place? You know, remember, we're, we're just looking at data from a 50,000 foot view looking over the Lawrence County and the tri-state area. And we're seeing that these people who are elitists in your community have been setting up systems to systematically enrich themselves and make sure that you become more and more criminal. Because if you don't have enough money to pay your fines or fees, well, then you're gonna lose your driver's license. And once you lose your driver's license, you're gonna drive in America anyway, because you can't get to work or pick up your children without driving a car. And so then you get pulled over and now the policy in Ironton is to impound your vehicle if you're driving without a driver's license. And now you have to make a choice. Do I wanna bond out of jail or do I wanna get my vehicle? Cause I know I won't be able to afford it after two or three days because the fees just keep on increasing. And so then you're like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? You bond yourself out of the dungeon because it's absolute terror. And then you lose your car and it's been the auction and they celebrate, hey, we found the key for the titanium colored Ford that they stole that they knew what they were doing. So we just want your help connecting the dots on here. You know, this is, this is our community because as you guys are all well aware, I have made my commitment and I consider my first day in Ohio, March 25th. And when I, when I finish what I'm doing here, suing for UNES in Dallas, Texas, you know what? Then I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Atlanta. I believe now, I, I mean, I have a, so one of the researchers talked to someone justice for, and I had, a, I, had a, I had that person as the person who had been, who had sued the sheriff's department in DeKalb County, and then was harassed and tried for, for a ridiculous crime and beat that. And I said that we could sue them under the Clark versus Thompson ruling that just came out in 2022 for malicious prosecution. So I'm a little bit confused on that. Hopefully that can get cleared up. But for you guys, for the people of Ironton, if you can connect in, and by the way, um, so there's gonna be an obsidian. Is, is, I don't know if everybody's familiar with obsidian. It's a particular kind of, of um, application. And so um, it, it, I'm gonna have to, so that's why I did a, a, a promo before this to hopefully some people will buy the trifold because the obsidian program that we're buying is 200 bucks. So I gotta pay for that. It has to be done. Because then you guys, and by the way, now when you guys see the Obsidian connection with the 150 connections on there with the people's names, remember, we're not accusing those people of committing a crime. 
we are saying that you do know or you are associated with Kristen Finley, or you are associated with James Kratzenberg, or you are associated with Kevin Waldo. And so your name may appear on here because of your business association with the rehabs. And then we need to know specifically here, you know, so here's a question I have for you guys. Here's a question I have for you. So one of these, uh, I can't see my screen. So one of these guards held up his cleaning service card. And so we looked into the cleaning service. Now, are they, now when I click on this, when I click on the picture right here, now a little dot will pop up right here and you can answer this question. See that little box right there? Now, here's what we wanna know. Is Spooge Jarek, is he using inmates for his cleaning service? And then is his cleaning service being hired by any of the municipalities or the jails or any sort of county or city ran business? Because you guys would know that. You guys would know if Spooge Jarek was having a cleaning service. Oh, that was a trip that was using a cleaning service that was being hired by the jail or the municipalities and then he was using prisoners or people out of the rehab, okay? So, thank you so much, I appreciate you. Thank you so much, I appreciate you guys, God bless you. God bless you so much, I appreciate it. So yeah, that's why I showed this. So, we're gonna keep going. Make sure you guys get your license and your registration laminated. So, and a, a copy of it, not the actual license and registration, so you can't take it. And make sure you guys get your trifold on Delete Laws. Go to Delete Laws and get a trifold from California. Get the indestructible paper one, it's 25 bucks. It takes about a week to ship, eight days, because we use regular mail. We use regular mail because otherwise it will cost 10 or $12 to add to shipping, we don't do it. And then if you want it for free, you just use the word free trifold, and you put free trifold in because we have to get the Obsidian thing up. And the Obsidian, the Obsidian thing with all of the connections, all 150 connections, will be up tomorrow. It's up tomorrow. So Joe said it'll be up tomorrow. So I'm super excited about having that. I'm super excited about it. Um, thanks a lot, um, Alan, this morning. Thank you, I appreciate you, brother. Uh, it was immediately spent on Eugene and um, uh, Terry over there who uh, had to run up to Cincinnati again today. And then as far as, as far as the two lawsuits for Kent and I, man, I'll tell you, you know, so just let me, I'll just tell you guys what happened with the lawsuits. So when we filed the complaint, when we put the complaint together and we were going down the line, Bobby and I, we, ha we hadn't added all of the proper people to serve because I was pretty adamant and here's what happened. I wanted to make sure every single officer was named in my federal civil rights lawsuit because they violated the law. And I also wanted to make sure that the jailer, Major Chapman, was listed as a ser being served a summons. And I also wanted to make sure the county clerk's office was served a summons. So for those reasons, it was delayed because I want my lawsuit, my federal civil rights lawsuit has nine people listed. There's nine people. So that means though, you have to have nine copies of the lawsuit plus one for the court plus one for you. So that's 11 copies of the lawsuit. So we had just, you know, it is what it is. But, but it was because I wanted to make sure that Blankenship was listed, that Fouch was listed, that Spuljeric was listed, and that Evan McKnight was listed. I wanted every cop listed on my federal civil rights lawsuit. That's what I wanted. And so that's why we had a delay because I, I wasn't gonna file it until they were all listed, you know? And that was, it is what it is, you know? So I believe that Kent is uh, working right now with someone on the team and they're setting something up for tomorrow. So we should be good to go by tomorrow. And then I'll actually announce to you guys that someone's will start to be served as soon as we get the stamp on the federal civil rights lawsuit. You guys do me a favor, hit the number one button. Let me know where you guys are from. Hit number one and just type where you guys are watching from so I just know where everybody's at. And then have you guys heard of, Ironton Transparency, there it is. You just click on the picture, 
Then a little white dot will appear. Click on the white dot and you can send us information. Then right across the top, it says use this link to join the server and you can come right in and tell investigators about any connections that you know that are happening here. I mean, we already know what's going on. It's, it's, it's Hughes. Everything is ran through Hughes, which is which lots and lots of LLCs and everything's run through the Star Justice uh, Community Center. Has anybody been to this place? Is this real? Is this a real place? Does it actually exist physically in the world? Is, is that a real location? And then Star East. Has anybody ever been to Star East? Have you been to Star East? And then if you click on Star East once, you see that little white dot will pop up, click on the dot, and then you can add your own information. And then right here, Star, Star Justice Community Center. Is this a real place? And then we believe that Hughes is a combination of McWhorter, Lambert, and Bowling. Do you know those people? And so you, when you guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it. From heaven, God bless. Me too. I, I hope we're all going there. So, so, yep. So, you know, Beastmaster, you know, tomorrow when the Obsidian one comes out, man, man, which reminds me, I have to, you guys, you guys tell a friend that they can get it for free, the trifold, by going to deletelaws.com and then picking the $15 trifold and then putting the word free trifold into the coupon code when you check out and you get it for free. You don't gotta put your credit card number in or anything. And then you can print it at home yourself. If you can afford to buy one, please do so. It's $25, we ship it from LA, it takes about a week. Anybody who hasn't got it, every, I think everybody's got it. A couple people missed the cracks and so we missed a couple people, but I think they got it. So deletelaws.com, it's right here. Go here and pick up this trifold and then use it all the time and I walk you guys through how to do it. There it is, okay. Listen, you know, and then just, just cut on like a real serious note, West Virginia's in the house, what's going on? So here, on a real serious note, you know, Mr. Cramblet, Mr. Sam Cramblet, your leadership is a joke. You are honestly the biggest joke of a mayor in the United States of America is a man named Sam Cramblet. You, if, you know, your family and friends, everybody who ever believed in you at any time in their life is disappointed in you today, Mr. Cramblet. So I cannot believe how terrible of a job you have done. I cannot believe how horrible you have misrepresented the people of Ironton. And, and let me tell you something, Mr. Cramblet. I'm on my way back, I'm coming there. That's my new hometown. That's where I'm gonna live, right there in Ironton, I can't wait. And Sam, you're done, dude. You should resign, you should resign. Because the people are gonna put together the conspiracies. They're gonna put together what's going on with Waldo and the surety bonds. He's making money by, by securing the land on the bond. I mean, this is what, what allegedly all of the people are telling me who are my confidential informants that McWhorter and Lambert and Bowling, and they're all involved, and Finley, I mean, you're all involved. It's disgusting. You know, and by the way, federal prosecutors, if you just took the data from us and looked into it yourself, I think that you would find what you find, and you would find something that would be extraordinarily interesting to you, but I don't know if you're gonna do it. I think the whole country is, I think we're dealing with a lack of transparency to levels that our whole country is just in shambles, in absolute shambles, really. And I think it's gonna take leadership that just doesn't buy into their crap corruption, crappy corruption. You know, so it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, how you guys doing? Good to see everybody. Sorry about that. Um, so make sure you guys, make sure you guys go pick up a trifold. Have it for your car. And then you don't have to pay for it. I mean, you can get it for free just by going to deletelaws.com, putting free trifold in for the $15 one. You can get six of them and put six free trifolds in and you get them all for free if they're the $15 version. You can buy the other one for 25 bucks and we ship it from LA and it's on this paper. So it's, it's dope. And then make sure you get your driver's license. There's the front of my driver's license, there's the back. This is just a color copy. It's just a color copy. And then on the back of it is my insurance and registration. Cause I, and I did this today because I got new registration. My registration was up 10 days ago, so I just got my registration, I put it on my car. So I knew I had to do a new one of these. So I'm just showing you guys, everybody should have this. Everybody should have that. You should have, because the cop takes your license sometimes. Sometimes they take it and don't give it back. They can take your color copy all they want. And the data on there is clear. You can tell them, I presented my ID to you. 
You don't, you know, I, I would say that. I would suggest if he insists for your ID, you give it to him, unless you can show the statute on camera and then show him the statute that you only have to present your ID, show the statute to the camera, then show it to the cop and then present it how you want. And then if he takes this, guess what? Oh, I don't have tape on this one. I don't, I don't have, I, I have a backup one right here. You see? I always, have, I always have a backup one of these, always, always in my car. And I take this one and I stash it, I stash it somewhere in the car that I simply am never gonna get to it unless I go, you know what? I have a backup of my ID and my insurance and registration in a stash place in my car. Cause then I, you know, cause, cause you don't wanna, whoop, whoop. You don't, you don't wanna, if, if a cop does take your stuff, which they're doing in, in, in Lawrence County, the, the, cops, the cops and sheriffs are taking your driver's license and taking your proof of insurance and keeping it. Like they took Ken's phone and they, they, they told Ken that they didn't have his phone. You absolute liars. You, Jeff Lawless, you know what? Let's, let's kick it up a notch. We should, we should have this. Has everybody gone by? Has everybody signed this? This has to be done. We need more signatures. It, by the way, great job. RecallJeffLawless.com. Has everybody gone by there? Has everybody gone by RecallJeffLawless.com? There it is. Moderator just posted it. Everybody should be going by there. And then all of your stories, you guys are still writing me your stories. I need your story on an affidavit. I need your story in an affidavit we can submit to the Justice Department. ironton.ohiopetition.org. You guys are still emailing me your stories, but I need all your stories emailed here in that form. Everything has to go through legislation in America, everything. So I need your, your story sent to me on ironton.ohiopetition.org. And then you gotta sign this recall Jeff Lawless. This has to happen. Yeah, all one word, uh, John, to get the free trifle from the website, to get the free trifold from Delete Laws, you get the $15 version, and it's all one word, free trifold all together at checkout. Okay, so you go and put it in your cart like you're gonna buy it, and you put the words free trifold in there, and you get the trifold for free. Just like this, all one word. Free trifold. And that gets you the $15 version for free that you print at home. Doesn't, just like that, thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. Just like that, all one word, okay? And then it doesn't cost you anything. And then you, your driver's license laminated, not your actual driver's license, a photocopy of it, and then, okay? And then, you know, I'm just gonna cover it again because I want your input, I want your data. Remember, we don't know all the connections here, you guys have to help us. So, you go to irontontransparency.com, you go to irontontransparency.com, and then you go here to Star Justice Center, you click on it, and then a little dot appears right there. You click on the dot, and then you can crowdsource right there with your comment what's going on with Star Justice Center. What is Star East? What is Star Justice Center? What, who attaches to Hughes Company? I mean, this Hughes Company is just the, this is the behemoth of, of of what I think is, what I believe is definitely, uh, you know, RICO, profiteering off of people going to rehabs. And then you know what they're doing to people? And this is what's going on all the time there. They're putting someone in rehab, they graduate. They put them in rehab, they graduate. And then they put them in jail. And the person I talked to today, they said, they said, why would they put me through rehab, have me graduate, make me feel good about myself? Then I go to another rehab and I graduate. I graduate from that one. And then they're gonna throw me in jail. Because in jail, you get strip searched, treated like a demon, you know, turn around, squat, cough, let me see your bunghole. You know, and then every day you get a gun pointed at you. The guards tell you, look at the ground, don't look at me, they dehumanize you. There's uh, absolute rape going on inside of the male dungeons for sure. And I'm sure the women from the stories I've heard about the police and the sheriff in, in Lawrence County, 
they're going through their own series of rapes there. And so there's no transparency, there's no oversight, there's no third party for any kind of truth, justice, for any kind of goodness. And so that's why we created this solving Ironton and so that you could add to it here. And then right here, you can join us, you know, use this link to join our server. You know, and we, we already anticipated the trolls. So, you know, go say your piece, bro. Do what you gotta do. Because this system's being changed. This system, th this system is being changed. This system is being changed. That's a fact. That's a fact. They're gonna send me to rehab? I don't have a drug problem though. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. It, it is what it is. So make sure everybody's putting the link for Iron Chin Transparency. Remember, we're not accusing those people of crimes. We're accusing them of profiteering off of uh, putting people in rehabs. That's what we're accusing them of doing. The federal government can accuse them of RICO laws and we've laid it out for the federal government to come in and arrest these people for conspiracy for sure. You know, um, I, don't do, uh, I, don't, I don't do interviews, man. I, I don't do the press anymore. You know, especially after, you know, so listen, I gotta make sure I stay on, 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 fo on focus here. You should have this in your car. I give it away for free. Why don't you have it in your car? Why don't you have it in your car? If you want to support me, buy one, buy two. Thanks, put one in each car. But you should have it in your car. Why would I give it for free if I didn't give a shit? I care. Oh, dang it, Liam. Dang it, Liam. Bad word. Dang it, Liam. Liam said I curse on every one of them and I was going this whole one I hadn't cursed once and I just cursed. God dang it. So you go to, you go to deletelaws.com, put free trifold in, you get it for free. You should have your license, registration, proof of insurance, all laminated up like this, actual photocopies, not your actual, your proof of insurance. You know, I, these are photocopies. Photocopy of the front of your driver's license, photocopy of the back of your driver's license, okay? And then always invoke your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent immediately. Don't wait, don't wait, don't wait. Remain silent immediately. As soon as you give him every single piece of, of information, and this is where, excuse me, this is where you nez. Yunez in Dallas. Who's seen Yunez's video? How many people have seen Yunez's video? Yunez's video has got a kind of a pink thumbnail on it. Who has seen Yunez's video? Okay, yeah. make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like, take your finger and right below the screen is a like button. All 400 people, you reach down and hit your like button, take your finger like that and just, just touch your like button down there for me. Pretty pleased with sugar on top and cherries. Apparently it's supposed to make a difference. And then please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you would, please, please make sure. Yunez, yeah, Yunez got screwed. You know why Yunez messed up? Because he didn't have his insurance on a, on a card. He had to call his wife for his insurance and the cop was bugging him and he was on the phone and then the cop accused him of drinking. So then he was distracted with his wife and so then he laughed, ha, ha, ha. And then the cop snatched a phone out of his hands and abused him because he wasn't prepared. He didn't have himself all set up for success. This took about an hour took about an hour to take my time to get my ish because it's, it's a matter of when you have to interact with these people. They're going to force you to interact with them. You're going to have to interact with them. And so you should have everything set up and then you should have your trifold in your car ready to go. Fold it up on the top of your visor, rubber band it in and right away, I don't answer questions. Right away. Don't even say, he says, where are you going? With all respect, officer, I know you have a hard job. With, with all the respect and dignity in the world. And you show the camera and you, sh and you show the camera and then you show it to the cop. And then if he asks you, oh, where are you going though? You say, that's the second time the next one's harassment. Please do your job. And then don't talk again. I mean, that's what I would say. I don't want you to say anything to them because they're horrible. And I don't want you to go to jail. I don't want you to go to jail, okay? I don't want you to end up No, I, you know, listen, <laughs> I know, I know, land shark, I know it. Well, but the thing is, man, listen, you know, I think that the revelation I had about, you know, uh, wishing that cop would burn in hell, and then I, I really don't wish that. I really hope and pray that we all go somewhere good. You know, 
And I'm not religious, so it just sounds crazy me saying these things, but just really how I feel. So, you know, I have to be as transparent as I possibly can, or people will be able to see through any bullshit. God dang it, another one, another curse word. I'm off, I'm off. That's it, put the word free trifle. But you don't put it in here, brother. You gotta go to the website, JD. JD, you have to go to the website, delete laws, and then you have to go to shop and pick out the $15 one, and then you put the word free trifold. Then I heard about Travis, Travis Hines getting 30 days. Ridiculous. So yeah, free trifold. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It takes about a week. It takes about a week, Kelsey. Thank you for ordering. I do appreciate it. Listen, and I'm being totally honest. Uh, uh, Shauna, one of my team members, she's in here. She has a wrench. She knows that I just had a phone call. She was on the phone call. We have to pay 200 bucks tomorrow to Obsidian tomorrow. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send that cash right after this. She, uh, I mean, Shauna, am I lying? She was just on the call where where Vermont told us, you gotta pay 200 bucks or we can't put up this particular part of the website. And I said, okay, then we'll pay it. Yeah, uh, Shauna with Ironton Transparency at gmail.com. You can send your, uh, your email there. And then she screens them. Uh, and then we, I give you guys a call back. And I got, just so you know, I have a dozen people on wait right now to call. There's so many people. I'm willing to talk about anything jacked. But I want to talk about Ironton Transparency, uh, uh, solving Ironton. So, you know, Joe gets a lot of credit, you know, Vermont. Uh, Vermont gets a lot of credit. He's put a lot of time in and so does Kimberly. Kimberly's worked hard too. I mean, I think, I think Joe wants more from Kimberly. He's like, come on, Kimberly. <laughs> but she's certainly added to the team. Uh, so we're slowly but surely getting further and further along. So, okay, last time. And then I'm going to do one more. The truth about Mary... Oh, Jody Conkle, yeah. How many people, oh, the, the Patriot Bread Man. The Patriot Bread Man. And then, did you guys hear about uh, Eugene in Ironton? Eugene in Ironton, he started a new page. It's called, um, uh, it was called uh, Patriot Ohio. What was it called? It, what's it called? Dang it. It's called, dang it, I can't remember the name of it. Ohio, um, American Patriot Ohio. That was the name. Gene out of Ironton just started a new uh, YouTube channel called, and it's called, I'm a Holocaust denier? My, dude, you're, you're total, you're, Sergio, you're just, I'll put you in timeout so you can hear the answer. And then if you say something dumb like that again, I'll just ban you, dude. So just so you guys know, my mother is a, a World War II buff. She knows details about World War II. I grew up learning about the Holocaust. So, you know, I, I grew up, you know, and I come from uh, Abersanathy Jew from seven generations ago. My, my lineage is, is Abersanathy Jewish. So <laughs> my mom taught me about the Holocaust my entire life. And then I'm, I, I come from Jewish descent. So it's like, Beastmaster, you going crazy, man? Calm down, dude. Beastmaster is a seriously intense guy. He goes, he's seriously intense. Beastmaster, take it easy, brother. Take it easy. Maybe just want to take it easy on this one. <laughs> uh, Beastmaster has been along for the ride. Um, you know, um, Beast, calm down, brother. Listen, this is not the place to discuss this. And you and I have talked about it. And, you know, it just... You guys don't get in fights over things that aren't in important right now. The most important thing, you know, yeah, I agree. You should hear everybody's ideas as long as they're being rational. So, you know, just let's just try to keep it. Remember, remember we got to be focused on. You know, how many people have gone over and, and checked out you know, solving Ironton. How many people went there and added information? How many people added information to solving Ironton? Because they're running a scam with the rehabs. And, you know, the big, the, just so you guys know, I think the big fish in this, I think, I think Randy Lambert. I think Randall Lambert, the lawyer. He's tied into a lot of things. He's got a guy coming over now to deal with some stuff that I'm going to help him with. And Randy, you know, we may be filing a federal civil rights lawsuit for him against Lawrence County again. I think it's no, I don't think it's in Lawrence. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we might be filing for him too. Randy Lambert. 
I mean, that's just what's going on. Randy Lambert's tied into all this stuff. He he's he's he writes. So, I mean, it is what it is, Randy. I hate to I hate to say it, bro, but you're you. <laughs> Your name keeps coming up. And so who knows about Hughes and Star East? And, and then, you know, McWhorter down here, you know, click on McWhorter one time and then a little dot pops up and you click on this dot right here. And then you can crowdsource information by adding your comment right there. You know, and that's what we need to stay focused on, on solving the money trail in Ironton and Lawrence County with the rehabs. And how many other cities and states is that happening to? How many other city and states are dealing with the judges have seen the, the writing on the wall that it's gonna to go to rehabilitation. So the judges in your city, your state, your town are profiteering off of the rehabs. You know, I mean, is that what's going on? Utah's pretty disgusting by the way with the corruption over there. You know, ASD docs, ex ASD docs exposed them, ASD and then docs exposed them and then his channel got demonetized and the judges were corrupt, corrupt. So irontontransparency.com, make sure you guys go by there. And then right up here, it says, use this link to join our server, add your pictures, your video, your paperwork, you know, other to get, we can solve this. We can solve this riddle of the conspiracy of money and, and, and incarceration and mandatory stays and rehabs. We can solve it if you can add your pictures and your paperwork and we can start to get a smorgasbord of information to understand. Um, Scott Bowling, um, we believe, and we don't know, we're just putting all the names out there. And by the way, so tomorrow when we put up the Obsidian site, there'll be 150 plus names up there. We're not accusing those peoples of crime, those peoples. We're not accusing those people of crimes. We're, we know that they have a business association through the research we've done. We're not saying they're a criminal. We're saying that they have a business association. And Kristen Finley, she's the slickest dog of them all. She has all these business connections that are all making money around her. She's slick, Kristen Finley. I think it's from her dad, Mike, is what I think. And then I, I, I'll, I'm just kind of like a broken record tonight, but I just want to make sure everybody does it. You know, I got a new registration in for my car, so there's a copy of my registration on insurance in a laminated, a photocopy of it. And then here's a photocopy of the front and back of my driver's license, and it's in a laminated sheet. You see, now the cop can't steal my information because I have it. I have a backup one of these. And then I have the real license in my pocket. And then you can get the trifold and you use the trifold and you don't talk to cops. Right there, you invoke your Fifth Amendment right, right away. Right away. Don't talk to cops. Don't. And then tomorrow up on solving Ironton will be the entire obsidian layout of every single business connection these judges have with people where they're making money from rehab or from bonds or from the land bank. We have every connection, because I've been collecting information forever, just talking on the phone to people forever, and then sending it to Shauna. Thank you so much for putting that, Shauna. And so tomorrow, we're gonna be putting up that, uh, we're gonna be putting up that, uh, the entire Obsidian layout. It's gonna be super exciting. You guys are gonna be stoked, because we're gonna solve this. We're gonna chase down the money. We're gonna chase down the money. Oh, Trent, I'm not afraid, dude. Save that fear for someone else, dude. I'm not interested. I got a bunch of cameras around me and I got, and I got my own self-protection. I'm not gonna ever deal with being afraid. There's it, just, I'm, I'm past that. It, you're, gonna, you're gonna kill me? Do it, do it. Go ahead. If that's, if that's your goal in life is to, because look, if you're a corrupt piece of garbage, you, you, you're caught, you're caught. Face the music. You're a judge or you're a lawyer. You're gonna get a smack on the wrist. Nothing's gonna to happen to you anyway. You'll be out in two. You'll have to start again, but you're smart. You know, you're smart, you're intelligent. I mean, it depends on how deep the corruption is, how much they've really profited off this stuff. You know, and, and they know that we're not gonna stop. And people like that who say things like that to me, brother, I'm not upset with you, but you can try to pour doubt in someone else's cup because I'm not gonna drink it. You give that to someone else. There's always people walking around with a, they're a pitcher full of doubt. Here, drink some of this. Here, have some doubt in your cup. No, you put the doubt in your cup. You put the doubt in your cup. I'm not afraid. You just, you, you just press forward. You do, and the way you can help me press you forward is you can pick up my trifold. <laughs> Go to deletelaws.com and pick up my trifold. Um, 
if you would please. The $25 version is, is how I make a living, and I also sell a poster that's hard copy and an ebook, and, a, and two kinds of posters, one laminated, one not laminated, and this is how I make a living, and I appreciate that. American Pride Ohio, that's the name of uh, Eugene's new channel, American Pride Ohio. He's an, Ohio, he's an Irontonian, he's an Irontonian who started a channel to root out corruption. Yeah, free trifold has to be one word. One word. All one word. I'll never stop. I'll never stop. We don't stop. Thank you. Good to see you, Shakur. Shakur, have you been around since uh, TikTok? I, what, Shakur, I think you were on. Were you on TikTok with me, Shakur? You guys, do me a favor. Um, hit your number one button. Let me know where you're from. Because sometimes I just get to talking, and I just get to rambling. O Ohio, American Pride, Ohio. I want to plug my buddy's YouTube. Go Eugene. All Iron all Irontonians need to look at that channel. American Pride, Ohio. I think he should have called it American Pride, Ironton, but I didn't because I'm moving myself to Ironton. And look, I'm not coming alone. I'm coming with friends. And not just friends, but cameras, lots of cameras. I I'm gonna show you guys the layout of the new system called Transparency. And my, my house in Ironton is gonna be laid out with transparency. You have no idea. You have no idea. You gotta catch these dirty bastards. You gotta, there's a third curse word. Dang it, third curse word. Um, you gotta catch these guys on camera. You know, people who are contacting me, really the only way we get justice for you is if it's caught on camera. If it's caught on camera. Yeah. Yeah, the drug problem in Ironton is out of control and nobody's getting better. There's some people who get better. There's, hey, there has been a couple people who said, man, they really helped me, you know, they really helped me a lot. And so God bless them. I hope they're okay. Yeah, um, so Michael Jr., so justice for Michael. Uh, I have, uh, maybe there's two. I have a different Charles as uh, someone that I'm helping from Atlanta, Georgia. But it doesn't have to do with someone being killed. So maybe I'm mistaking the two people. I have court in Ironton on the 28th, so I gotta be back to Ironton before the 28th. I have two court dates to answer my Replevin motion and to face uh, charges for, for criminal trespass, resisting arrest, and uh, oh, the other BS charge, the other BS charge, because they're done. I'm not, I, that's what my civil rights lawsuit's for. They'll all get summons before I have a court date. They all will get a summons for my, my federal civil rights lawsuit. You can't, you can't, you can't. You can't do what they did, you know? So, okay. Anyway, listen, uh, if you guys could be so amazing, uh, the Ironton Transparency gets even bigger tomorrow with Obsidian will be launched tomorrow, which is exciting, maybe by tomorrow night uh, when Vermont can get it done. And so we're, we're doing that overnight tonight. And then um, you guys pick up the trifold on deletelaws.com. You, if you want the $15 one, get the uh, put free trifold in there. And then, um, if you want the $25 one, that's, I'll ship it to you from California, and that's on indestructible paper. So you can wad it up, pour coffee on it, do all that stuff, it's still fine. I mean, obviously you can destroy anything if you try hard enough, but it, just for the regular wear and tear, it's always good. Um, and, then, and then right here, this is the front and back of my laminated insurance and registration, and this is the front and back of the photocopy of my driver's license front and back. It's, it's a photocopy. It looks real because it's a nice photocopy, but this is how you should do it. Okay, anyway, listen, I've been on for 45 minutes. I really am busy from, you know, you ask anybody who spends two minutes with me. I am busy from the time I wake up until the time I go to bed. I've said it time and time and time again, and I'll say it one more time. We don't stop. It's gonna take at least one man or one woman who dedicates their entire life to changing this BS system. It's gonna take the rest of my life and I will be gray and old when one of these millennials who sees me or one of these Gen Zs who watches what I'm doing, copies it and does it better than me, and we change this BS system, I'm gonna change it before I die. Terry versus Ohio goes down, we abolish the prison system before I go, before I'm gone. That's why I'm not afraid to go to Ironton because that's not my destiny. That's not what I'm intended to do. So, all right, I got nothing but love for you guys. Thank you guys so much. Solvingironton.com, please add your comments. Um, Everybody else, thank you. God bless you. God bless the United States. And remember, we don't stop. We don't stop. And we don't ever stop. And I won't stop if you don't stop. It doesn't matter if you stop because I won't stop. And then the people coming along, we don't stop. Ever.
until we change the system. Okay, that's it. God bless you guys. Later.